Dean D. Davidson live weatherblogs.com student meteorologist here. Take a look at all the action stuff coming on the tropics. We have an area of the surf weather out here near the just off the Cape Verge. We have an area that is left behind that has a very unlikely shot to develop near uh, Texas. Most important thing right now, Igor, and then we have Julia, which is weakening and turning out to sea. The thing we're going to pay attention to is Igor, as Igor is bearing down now on going towards Bermuda, has 100 mile an hour winds. Check the path now, has it going over or just left of the country of Bermuda, which will give it the, mo the major um, impacts. Winds up to 100 miles an hour, waves, large waves, large storm surge, isolated tornadoes, you name it, it's gonna, it, Bermuda's gonna be whip, whiplash. And it's not gonna be a quick whiplashing either, it's going to be over a day of punishing, punishing weather going on in Bermuda. Anybody in Bermuda, if you haven't gotten your stuff together yet, please do it now. Your time is running out um, to get ready for this hurricane. And I hope everybody in Bermuda that is watching this is listening. And please do so, uh, protecting your life and your property. Move to higher ground. You don't want to be near the water. Oh, the swim surge. Anyway, so we're going to go to the satellite picture now. And here's Julia. Dry air in here. That's what's surge weather. And here is Igor. There's Bermuda. Here's the projected path to move it right over Bermuda and then turn it out. Uh, so the, the core of hard winds are going to be coming in tomorrow, um, probably in the morning, and lasting straight through probably Monday morning. It's not long, a little longer than that. So finish up anything that you have to do now and to protect your life and property in Bermuda, please. East Coast, you're going to have a lot of wind, a lot of uh, waves crashing up along the beach, and you're going to have you know, beach erosion and rip current threats. Taking a look now at the miles will show that. Here's projection there from you. You see all of them are projected to hit from you now and then spread out and go out to sea here. Uh, doesn't matter where it goes to sea. It looks like it's going to stay from the Canadian provinces. But Bermuda is going to get a weapon on this storm. Category 2. Uh, it's probably at length all time. But we're extremely strong Category 1. So now, taking a look at the severe weather. Severe weather rest tomorrow also in uh, central Illinois, central Indiana, northern parts of um, Missouri here. Main threats are wind and hail, and uh, like I said, isolated outside of a tornado. Um, but that looks very unlikely. We're looking more at the wind than the hail. Davidson risk factor 60% wind, 40% hail, 10% tornadoes. And that's um, just based on the atmospheric conditions that may cause. This Rona Valley forecast 56 overnight, 91 Sunday, 69 on Sunday night, 88 on Monday, 82 Tuesday, 87 Wednesday, with lows around 60 each and every night, and now to the drive 91 Sunday, 90 Monday, 88 Tuesday, 91 Wednesday, and lows around 60 to 63 each and every night. So the weather's going to stay warm, but not extremely hot. And it's going to be nice over the next couple days, but staying dry. So, fire danger. Do not throw cigarettes out of the windows. Um, it may start fires. Um, just discard them, please, in correct ways. Well, any other than that, Dean D. Davidson, liveweatherblogs.com. More information tomorrow.